This question belongs in the reading section. This is very similar to the graph chart questions that we see in reading and writing, well, mostly reading, where we need to just interpret what they're saying and it's not as intense as it may seem. Right, so they're asking us here, according to the scatter plot, which of the following statements is true about the relationship between a planetoid's average distance from the sun and its density? This is like a very math way of just saying, what's the main idea, right? So because this is so similar to a reading question, I'm gonna use a reading strategy. I'm gonna use a dumb summary to help me understand the relationship. I don't wanna overthink it. So let's just dumb it down and then compare that dumb version to the choices. And if I need to look at it again, I will. So what's the relationship? So as you increase the distance, you decrease the density. That's it. Now let's go to the choices here. I'm gonna bring that with me. And what matches? Choice A, planetoids that are more distant from the sun have lesser densities. That's like literally what I just wrote. Let's see B. Planetoids that are more distant from the sun tend to have greater densities. No, high distance means low density. No, that's the opposite. See the density of a planetoid that is twice as far from the sun as another planet is half the density of that other planetoid. <sighs> Look, I'm not gonna bother interpreting that. I kinda know it's wrong because it's too specific, it's too strong. Like it's, it could, there's a world in which that's true, but I already kinda know that A matches. So why bother doing that kind of work? Now, it's not that hard. A, a planetoid that is twice as far from the sun as another planetoid is half the density of that other planetoid. Okay, so pick some easy ones here. So uh, point eight is right here. So double it to point six. The density is twice as far is half. So that goes from five to 4.25. So 4.25 is not half of five. So no, it doesn't work. The distance from a planetoid to the sun is unrelated to its density. You know, there's a big line that shows you that it's related, that it, there's a relationship. So yeah, A is the answer. You can't get this wrong, right? You're just literally reading the graph and saying, does a line go up or down? That's it. So I think the reason people have trouble is they read these answer choices and try to match them with the graph. You might still get it right, but I think it, it is a bigger burden on your brain. The better thing to do is to read the graph and just kind of get the dumbest version of what's happening first and then use that to get rid of some of the garbage. And if you really need to compare A and C, you can, but at least you're not distracted by all the other stuff and, and you have a much clearer sense of your task. The more you can dumb it down at first, the more you can get rid of that doesn't match, and then you can focus on the more complicated stuff second. That's fine. It works on reading. Works on math too.